Rightio, in my previous videos, I did a discussion on your grade 11 PATS and I just did a general overview of your presentation requirements, your scenarios, your specifications, how to do the research and even how to do your freehand concept designs. Now in this video, we're going to go to point number four in your actual PAD document and we're going to be looking at how do you select then the best solution for your actual working drawings. And this is a requirement that you must meet. I'm going to show you how it's done uh, by just doing a quick few minute discussion on it. Okay, so selecting the best solution, which demonstrates that you have an in-depth understanding of the design brief within the context of the specifications and constraints. How do we do that? On a separate page, evaluate and compare the two freehand solutions that you've come up with. Okay, evaluate and compare, keywords here. How do you do it? By creating a table with a minimum of four description criteria, must be a table, creating and applying a simple rating scale to score each solution against each other, and then in the end justify each score by describing the positives and negative aspects of each solution against each criteria. Again, I remind you, this needs to be looked at in conjunction with your actual a checklist and here you can see what are the requirements for you to get 10 out of 10 you need to create that table which I will show you in a moment with an easily understandable presentation okay so it must be clear how did you do the process you need to use four descriptive criteria you have to have a rating scale that is used to score each solution against each criterion each score must be justified by describing the positives and negatives and a comprehensive summary. So if you re meet these requirements, people, you're going to get 10 out of 10. Now, it might look a bit overwhelming, but let me show you what is the requirement here. Rightio, so here's an example of this. Of course, again, on a, a frame page uh, with your title, and there's a selection scale. I know this is Afrikaans. I'll show you an English one in the moment. Um, but it's got five, basically a five grade, five being excellent, zero being, uh, you know, really poor with regards to meeting the requirements. And then they've listed the different, and this learner, of course, listed many more than you need to. You only need to uh, list four uh, criteria. And then you have your title of the actual uh, concept, concept one, concept two, the writing that that got and the description on either side of how it was obtained with a total if you add that up gives you a total and that's how easy it is to then determine that concept two in this case was the correct one to proceed with because of its rating and the descriptions on either side and then at the end there's a summary of why they choose it so here's another example this rating scale is even more simplified again make sure your title is correct selecting best solution numbered it correctly and again, many more than was required, but you need, again, four. And they just basically did yes and no. So a tick if it, if it had met the requirement or a cross if it did not meet the requirement. In the end, counted all the crosses and the ticks. And the concept number one got nine out of 11. Concept two, 11 out of 11. And on the right-hand side, how, why was the score justified? So that positive and negative, just a quick description on each one of these. And then in the end, your summary that kind of ties it all together. If you do it as easy as this, you're going to get 10 out of 10 and you're going to absolutely nail your evaluation and your selection of your free end concepts. Now it's your turn.